dive meets is where everything's registered. And sometimes these competitors have been diving for so long, they have pictures. Go back and it looks like for Ayasi, maybe when she was diving as I mean, eight, eight, nine years nine old. Year, yeah, nine years old. You see, you get to see how far back these athletes have been competing, which is kind of great. She's wearing Mickey ears on there, and they don't update their pictures sometimes. And this will go further down the line. Is did you see Chiara Pelicani, who we did see yesterday compete for LSU for her 205 B? A fake. This is more challenging to do than what we saw from her teammate who competed this dive in the tuck position. Pike, way more difficult in order to get that speed and momentum that you need. She doesn't with that dive. Triple seven, 60. And you're gripping for the rim are hands interlaced, the fingers. No, do you no, have no. one out in you front? You have one out in front, kind of a flat palm, and then your other hand is going to be gripping that hand. And then you need to make sure your shoulders, arms are perfectly straight, shoulders are really tight and high up into your ears, basically. You have to create sort of no space in there for the water to, to splash off of. What you see on the ripping is in second. Much better entry on this one. A lot of height off the diving board, great angle. And right there, you see her grab her hands. It, not, quite a, not quite a rip. Solid score. Yes, we've seen yet with a couple of some nines, nine and a half. Did we see, we saw a 10 last year. I think so, especially on platform, Yeah, for the first time ever, we saw a 10. I'll have to dig it up and we'll get through the mental record as we get there. Pelicani. Averages 60.16 historically when competing this dive. You Beautiful do. dive. That's one of the best full outs we've seen, if not so much happening here. And you need to be so quick off of that diving board in order to give yourself enough time to easily make that around front two and a half with a bit of a splash there. Uh, but again, that looks worse in slow motion in real time. That was a really terrific. Total. The current leader. Talked about Hernandez, O'Neill, Schnell, two of the Olympians at the top of the show, but right now it is Pelicani from LSU. What does she have? Round number four, her 107B. Wow. Oh man, this is one of the hardest dives we're gonna see from any of the athletes. Lips so fast in this pike. What a nice tight position in the air. We call that the top of the dive. Basically what's happening in the air is the top of the dive, and then when you're hitting the water, that's the bottom. Um, the bottom of this dive needs a little bit more on that. You can see she sort of over rotates it up, but that was a heck of a solid dive, especially with the degree of difficulty she's working with there at a 3.1. Trio of 650.40. And apologies to Pelicani. We had sifted through on the LSU website, but quite a distinguished diver for her native country of Italy in the Tokyo 2020. Olympics that competed in the women's synchro three meter springboard finished seventh place. Elena Bertocci was her teammate and has also competed many other European championships, gold medals. Five of them in the European Championships, a silver medal in 2022 in the World Championships in three meter synchro. So no surprise that she's competing the way that she is today. I was just gonna say, with her really difficult dive, she's one of the most difficult list, if not the diff most difficult list in this entire, she dives and holds her composure. She's so comfortable up there. It is not surprising whatsoever that she has excelled at the international level as well. Seven, seven and a half, seven and a half with those 66. DD of 3.0, the race between her and Schnell. What is the key to this dive? The key to this dive is making sure she stays over her toes on the takeoff in order to have the right speed and momentum into this rotation. If you lean this dive back at all, you take away all of your momentum. Oh, good looking dive. Little bit of a splash there. Maybe just a degree or two. Being perfectly vertical. Good position in the air, but just comes out of that pipey, that splash. You can always kind of tell by the direction of the splash, which way it's going. Um, just leaves it a little bit short and 